a bit about your entrepreneurial venture. Thank you very much. Uh, Eza Sekasi is an initiative to boost township economy. It is in line with the National Development Plan Vision 2030. We are about to revitalize the township economy. As we all know that there is about uh, four, 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 49 billion rands that is floating in the townships uh, annually. And that is money that is untapped. So through this initiative, as well as part of radical socioeconomic transformation, we are to boost township businesses through our initiative called Eza Sekasi Business Fridays. Okay, so uh, the Deputy Minister was there today in Kailiche uh, looking at bed and breakfast, uh, at, at things designed to attract uh, tourists. What, what sort of activity is there uh, in, in various townships or are you focused on Kailiche? Uh, we focus uh, not only in Kailiche, but today Kailiche was the host of other areas in and around Cape Town uh, that are also interested to be part of the tourism, uh, tourism uh, sector. Many people, young and old, are still interested. We all know that after 2010, many businesses that uh, were BNPs and people who were involved in tourism, their businesses went down the hill because we didn't have a sustainable program to continue boosting businesses that are in the township. So based on what the president said this year in the sauna, which was very relevant to many of us, young people who are interested into business, uh, is to say that let us focus on uh, making sure that our people in the townships, that is the entrepreneurs, are able to get involved and take part into the economic development of our country. I'm sure entrepreneurs are, are very interested, uh, small business owners, government keen to support, but are the tourists uh, ready to go off the beaten paths uh, and, and come and stay in townships? There are tourists, of course, and uh, I'm sure many uh, entrepreneurs will agree with me, as I'm also from a township. You find that you see taxis from, with the tourists that are coming from town to the townships. And those taxis are full of tourists that only comes there to view certain tourist attraction uh, places, maybe museums and, uh, and so forth. But now when those tourists are finished with touring the township, they get back to the taxi, uh, which is owned also by someone who's not from the township. And they go back straight to town to have lunch and, and, and enjoy themselves for accommodation. So through this initiative, we say, we want to be involved as people who own businesses in the townships. When those taxis come, in fact, they should, the tourists, be transported, uh, or not only from the businesses that are in towns, but also by us, the owners of, the, of such uh, businesses in the townships, to make sure that they eat there, they enjoy themselves, and as you saw in your clip that... Uh, there are credible BNPs that we have in our townships. So we encourage tourists as well as South Africans to support the businesses that are in the townships. I'm trying to gauge from you what interest there is from foreign tourists, from local tourists, to stay in townships. Uh, is, is this an emerging trend? Because I guess you don't have the sea view. Uh, it's not always beautiful, uh, but you get to uh, live that in, in a township, uh, get to see the community uh, and, and experience township life for, for a small uh, sliver, I suppose. Yes, of course. Uh, the, in fact, there are many things that are exciting in our townships. I mean, there's a township style on its own, or lifestyle, let me put it that way, that you will learn the culture in the township, the way of doing things. Um, it's, it's, it's always uh, attractive to the tourist, as well as to us as people who live there. So um, we encourage people to, to come and support the businesses uh, that are located in the township, not only on the side of the tourism sector. We do have museums, uh, we do have heritage sites. There are many places that we can visit. But what we're saying on top of that, we say on Fridays, let's dedicate a day on Fridays, let's go there to the township, let's have lunch in groups from our companies, let's support, let's wear 
what has been produced by a local fashion or township fashion designer. Uh, I'm talking about clothes. And in so many ways, fill up your tank in the township filling station uh, that is owned by someone perhaps uh, who's also from the township or a black person. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the way that we can be able to grow uh, the imbalances of big business and small business uh, throughout the country. Uh, in Kailicha, for example, is, is crime a problem, a deterrent? Um, I would say that crime is a problem everywhere in the country. We, we know that uh, uh, crime is a problem, but uh, that does not, or that should not stop people from going due, due to the support uh, that we get from subs and the community structures. Mm -hmm. In today's event, we had the community uh, structures being part of it uh, in the MBs or that we did today. And we made sure that uh, everyone is safe through the Kailicha Business Forum and Kailicha Development Forum. And by engaging the locals, uh, chances of having crime when you have tourists coming to their areas are slim. I'm not saying are not there, but are slim because you are using the local people. So we must make sure that we involve everybody, uh, whether we, we bring tourists or we as South Africans touring the townships. So crime is, is a problem. In fact, uh, according to my experience, you will experience crime more when you are in town rather than in the township. I'm not saying it does not happen, but uh, uh, thugs are more on the side of CBD uh, to look for money, but not in the township. So let us work together in the fight against crime and promote township tourism. That's so true. Uh, sometimes those perceptions are wrong. Thank you, founder of Ezaze Kasi Sianda Mtulu. Right, let's take a quick look and see what happened.